Yeah. How about you, Robert? Dance, Any though. shows you watch? No, no. I don't remember. Nothing How about I music? Know. Albums that anyone like this year, 2020? Uh, Shake Cuddy. That didn't come out 2020. Oh, it did. It did, uh, yeah, it did bro. I forgot 2021 <laughs> we're, we're just started. Just, we're, this is our first day out here, bro. <laughs> you're right. You're right. <laughs> I haven't wanted to see Cuddy album, definitely. Oh, someone disconnected oh. Robert. Oh, Robert. his power went out. No. Rip. Oh, no. He just switched voice lobby. What the fuck? Wait, what? <laughs> did he really? I'll probably move him here. Give me a second. No, no, no. It's probably just a glitch for sure. Because he said his power was about to go I moved him over here. Oh, he's back. Hello, I Robert. moved them. I moved them, but I have no idea what happened. You can move them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Robert's here. Yeah. Hey, Did Robert. Bitch. Hey, what about that? Uh, what about that fucking new album <laughs> everyone's talking about? Which that one? just came out like a few days ago. The rapper album. I forgot his name. Playboy Cardi. Yes, Playboy Cardi. That's that shit was one. trash. I don't like Playboy Cardi like that though. To be honest, so I can't really. I don't like. I remember. Like I remember a lot. Of, I, I saw like. I don't know anything about rappers or hip hop or anything like that, but I remember seeing online like there was this very big meme going around it where everyone was like either hard, hard shitting on it or just like it was really good. He has a really like diehard fan base, but he's like, I don't know. I, I'm a this is my personal opinion. All you Playboy Cardi stands are probably maybe one and a half. That <laughs> Here watches. we go, boys. Oh, I, he's trash. About. Not gonna lie. He has a song with Kanye and it's and it's not good. <laughs> I do have a song with Kanye West, and that'd be That's good. <laughs> There's one album I I heard recently that I it was okay because uh, the drummer for uh, Blink 182, Travis ba uh, Barker, he um, he helped produce it. it was uh, the Machine Gun Machine Kelly? Gun yeah, I knew you were gonna oh, say yeah, that yeah. shit. No, I, I heard it. it. It's not terrible, but it's, it's very. It's it's just I don't like his voice, but other than that, like the music's pretty good. The Halsey song is good. I like the Halsey song. Yeah, I like, uh, but I like Halsey. So. Yeah, I just I don't know. There's just like there's some, like I just don't like his voice. It seems pretty like monotony. But other than that, like the music was, was pretty it, good. It, like, it I'm a, I'm a I like, punk rocker. I, like so I liked it. I liked yeah. It a lot. I'm a big a I like, big one. I don't, I don't like what he was saying, but I like I don't care about the lyrics or anything. But I like the. It was okay. The production on it, like the the yeah. drummer, the drums, the the guitar, it was all really good. It, it, it felt like we went back to uh, the punk rock days where it was actually like cool when that shit would come out. Early two thousand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I haven't heard it. Like, when it came out, people were actually excited. Not like now, where it's like, why are you guys even still doing that genre? I I felt like it just felt like a Blink album to me, but like yeah. it, it was just Machine Gun Kelly, and I was just like, it's cool, but I, I just don't like that like guy so much. He sings. I don't like that guy so much. How about I you, Rabbit? About him. I don't. I mean, I respect what the people. Like, like I don't know. Album favorite album 2020. Couple. Uh, dude, it was the fucking album that we were talking about early, uh, a while ago about. It was fucking um, I forget his name. Well, how do you? How is this your favorite album? You don't know the motherfucker's name and oh, name. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wrong, but now it's like. Oh, uh, it's not your favorite. Buster Rhymes. Busta Rhymes. Oh, Buster Rhymes dude. album, dude. Who would have thought it? Long time, dude. Dude, that's a good ass album. Who would have thought Buster Rhymes would have been your favorite one for the year? That's so fucking good, dude. Hell yeah. Really? I haven't heard it. He has a new album. Yeah, it came out this year. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of good music came out last year. Like, a lot of good music. But... Oh, well, last year, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Blink the. Uh... Same this year. Yeah. It was a really good year for music, and then we were all stuck inside, so we couldn't really appreciate the music as much I appreciate as we how... normally could. Yeah. Speaking of new albums coming out this year, Medicine at Midnight, Foo Fighters. Oh, yeah. Oh. I heard one of the songs. I didn't, I'm like, I like it, but it's not my favorite Foo Fighters song. But then again, you know. They've made enough songs where I'm like content with what they've made. <laughs> yeah. Content. A lot of their uh, I just, I just are tour. Different, very different. I just want them to tour so we can see them at least. Yeah, I have I to see Dave Cole before. I was supposed to see him last year, uh, 2020, but I got fucked. We were supposed did, uh, to see Did you think I get moved? My Chemical Romance, dude. We were we still, well, well, we're still going to see My Chemical Romance. We're still yeah, going to see When? Eventually. <laughs> When? No, in September. Like on the second master, it says the new date. There's a new date. Yeah, it's just uh, they just rescheduled for next I, year. So th yeah, so this year I'm gonna see Green Day, Fall Out Boy, My Chemical Romance, Weezer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see a pretty good amount of punk rock this year. <laughs> I was supposed to see that last year, but you know, Rona. Yeah, I just want I just want the MCR experience, man. If I want to go back to that, concerts. I miss concerts. I'm gonna cry. I'll cry too, bro. I'm gonna cry for sure. I bought a very expensive ticket too. I better fucking yeah see. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm up close in the shit, dude. I'm excited. This year really fucked everything up, man. 
Fuck point. It did, man. I was supposed to have seen the fighters, dude. I was supposed to take a picture right next to the fucking the first van they bought the tour. Damn it. I was so excited. I was like, I get to take a picture with Dave Grohl and the fucking <laughs> Dave Grohl. <laughs> <laughs> But no, I got fucking. Damn, yo, fucking this Buster Rhyme album is very long. Yeah. Long as fuck. Thirty songs. Thirty what? songs. You know, OG's always been an album, doing bro. It's like a fucking symphony, bro. And a fucking <laughs> orchestra. <laughs> yeah. It's symphony. the deluxe edition. That's God two damn. albums. Damn. That Holy is like two albums. <laughs> how long, how you got Chris Mark right in the album? first one. For like twenty. 20 Dude, the intro was epic. Yeah. yeah, it's a good. The Buster Rhymes good album. How about you, Gene? Me? Oh, album of the year for me? Uh, at first it was the uh, the Bad Bunny album, but Yago la Mera la Gana. That, uh, at first it was that one for sure. Like, I, I bumped that shit so hard, but then 2020 became so depressing that it made the album suck for me, to be honest. Like, I, going into, like, March, I was still listening to it, and then sitting down on a desk, like, in, inside of a, you know, you can't, you can't in jail, it. basically. I did not appreciate it, so I gave up on it. But, you know, things got better. So I, I I literally just, I hear the album now and I I want to throw up I, like yeah <laughs> that's a bad taste in my mouth because all I think now when I listen to the album is oh that's when we started quarantining that was the shit that's when we started um but I really like the Kid Cudi drop Man on the Moon three because it's been ten years since the second one and he went back to his roots with rapping and stuff and it was pretty fucking good I like it. he did a pretty damn good job I like that it was album. pretty damn good. Had a good amount of rapping. Had a good amount of singing. We were um, missing some cool features though. He didn't really have that many cool features. He had Trippy Red, which I like that song a the lot. The Trippy Red song is alright. You don't want to always have a bunch of features. Nah, but you want to at least have a good amount of features, especially like someone like Kid Cudi who has like the connections to get good features and make really good songs. Still though, it was a Man on the Moon album though. It was That's true. His album, yeah, like it, it's it's a it's a legacy album. You can't That's have too so many people on that shit. I, mean, I want to hear what he has to say. It's been 10 years since second. I mean, but he was saying more or less the same shit he's always been saying. No, he's still sad. He's still partying <laughs> while sad. He's still sad. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, he's looking for serenity, man. That's what he said. I, I like the album. I like the album a lot, good. too. No, it was good. It, it shows his growth in a way. Yeah, I mean, for me, it kind of, like, like solidified him as the, as the dude who kind of started that whole genre of sing rapping, like, spacey vibes. Sense kind of thing i think he yeah, he showed up and he was like i'm the one who dis, do, who did, did this shit and does this, this shit groove. yeah i felt Don't like get it twisted. Twisted. Don't get i felt like i heard when i heard that shit in high school like that's all i heard like was just kid cuddy he has like, a unique yeah. sound yeah exactly i just felt like when people were discovering weed for the first time <laughs> like, <laughs> this is my shit that's true yeah <laughs> when i went before i even touched marijuana at all I uh I always told Roger I was like nah the first thing I want to do is listen to Cuddy while I'm doing it. I, I think didn't we did. Do it. We did. It, that's not the first time I did it, but still, I really wanted to so bad. Like that was like the dream was I want to have Cuddy playing in the background. I think we did one of the first times we smoked was we played some Cuddy. Yeah, but it was with the okay. that third album that he dropped, and that one wasn't made for us at the time. Like I like that album now, but I didn't like it then. Yeah. So it only you, had that uh that one good song. That's just what I am, right? Yeah. That song. Was yeah, sick. just what I am, and that's the only like at that time because I listen to the album now and I like mostly all the songs to be honest. You know what songs I like? Cause so when I went to Florida, I <laughs> fucking it just scared the shit out of me. I was like, he's not even there. No, no, because I have a wireless headset. So uh, um, one of the, the, the things I like listening to when I'm like high. So last time I got high was when I was in Florida. Um. I was listening to like really soft video game music with my friend, uh, and I was just like, "Dude, I'm vibing right now, dude." <laughs> dude so I, got, I was listening bro. to Sonic, like old today. Sonic songs, like I'm really vibe. slow, and like Donkey Kong shit. I'm like, "Dude, I am fucking in there." <laughs> You're floating <laughs> in space, bro. <laughs> You're fucking getting You're like, your rings, man. I was there, man. Like I was just having the time. Whatever you want, I want to be on. For real, because yeah, like the last the last couple of times before that time, the last couple of times I had weed was just I was just like comatose. Like I was just like I felt like you know like how it, you know like in Star Wars the body like, vibration you know, like Falcon and you see like the lights and they just yeah the, the lights go when they go light speed. Yeah, that's what it felt like. I felt like I was just being pierced by the stars. Dude, I, was, yeah, I know exactly what sick. you mean. One time, 
one time I was in the passenger seat, man, and we were, I, I was with my ex at the time, we were going to like Winn-Dixie or Fresco or whatever, then I was in the passenger seat, and for some reason, I felt like we were going to light speed. To me, Dude, we were going so like... fast, and I look at the speedometer, we're going like 30. And I, I look around, and I'm like, holy fuck! That's how you just slow the fuck down. So <laughs> yeah. I was no, I got you. Well, there was one time I was on the couch. But sometimes you have to catch yourself, though. Yeah, it's true. There's one time I was on the couch and fucking, I think I had a really bad strain or whatever. I felt like I was being eaten by the couch. And it made me want to throw up. Because Something it felt like the yeah. couch was just trying to, like, eat me. And I was like, Ooh. I think you just got too high, man. I think so. I think one of those times when we got high on Roger's front porch. That's kind of what it felt like for me, bro. Remember when we felt that shit, bro? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you guys couldn't get up at all. Yo, that's what... Indicas do that shit to you, dude. When you smoke an indica, you yeah. will become like you know that fucking old commercial with a bitch flat on the couch. That's <laughs> yeah. exactly what that'll make you feel like, dude. I'm getting high. Dude. Yeah, when yeah, Jimmy you were <laughs> on that front porch, and we, we sat. Couldn't, I literally chairs, couldn't get up. <laughs> it felt like the chair was sucking me down into it. Was it was very like, comfortable, I was, dude. I was so fucking sucked into the chair. It was like gravity times ten, and I was just. It was a nice thing. It was nice. It felt good though. It was like, breezy. Was, like, it was nice. It was a windy yeah. day. Imagine like, like spring like, Bill's training room where they were training, like Vegeta's training room where they train in like intense gravity, <laughs> but it felt good instead. <laughs> it was basically like it felt like, good instead. It was like wearing good. a fucking weighted blanket the whole time. Yeah, literally. Dude, yeah. It, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and That's then fucking like. Roger's little cousin, fucking came out and started talking to us in her like five year old language, and Gene oh, and I, Gene and I were talking to her oh. as if she was an adult, bro. We were like, dude, she sounded so about, clear. Dude, she sounded like the most sophisticated, intelligent human being ever to us. And we were just having the most normal, intelligent, intellectual conversation ever. It was crazy. Dude, I stuff, fucking, dude. You know, I miss that the most about weed. Now that I have a tolerance <laughs> to it, I don't get those trippy trips no more because I, I, like, yeah. I'm used to it. Like, I smoke, I get, you know, the usual. Oh, I call it a gateway drug. I eat my food, you know? <laughs> but, yeah, smoke exactly. Boy, but I kind of miss it. You know, the beginning, oh my God, the beginning was always like, Oh, I don't know what's gonna happen. And you go and you try it, and you're like, "Whoa, I can't move, and I'm very hungry and happy." <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, you know, you feel like a little kid. Like, it's just like you gotta take a tolerance break, like, man. I'm chilling. <laughs> smoke weed every day. <laughs> now I just smoke right, it occasionally wanna... when you guys are like when we're hanging. And uh, since yeah, I kind of stop smoking all the time, the when I smoke it now, I get like really uh, hyper. Now when I talk, I just like yeah, you get talkative. Yeah, because we usually buy sativas. Yeah, I For really. Me, I, just, what, I try. I, I try what Frankie sativas. does. Like every time Frankie's like sings, I'll just do this. Yeah, I'll rock. But fuck? like I'll feel calm as hell. But I'll rock my ass off. So. Yeah, when I smoke now, it's kind of like you know how sometimes artists will be like, oh, they smoke weed to like let their creative juices flow and stuff like that. That's how I feel now when I smoke weed occasionally. Like, I'll take two fucking hits from a tiny little doobie yeah. that you guys hand me, and it, it feels like I'm just unlocking my fucking thoughts, and I just rant. I can literally just rant for fucking hours straight. And it's not even close, dude. I don't know. It's it's weird. But that's how I feel that's about gonna, weed now. That's when how you're going to write your book. Occasionally, yeah, when I, I smoke it occasionally, I can just fucking go off. I can literally just go off. Yeah, you should, you should just record yourself and then write your book. That's what I did. That's what I did when I when I when I <laughs> with my friend in Florida. Like we, I just recorded Man, everything we talked about, and I remember listening to him like, "That was a good conversation." Speaking <laughs> speaking of everything you talked about, I still have, and I showed Roger the other day. I still have the recording from you from <laughs> oh when I was drunk, drunk off your ass, <laughs> calling me. I had the voice it was like now. a whole eight minute. I still have the voicemail. Yeah, I'm actually glad Robert, I didn't pick Robert, up. So I could keep the Robert shit answered. A lot of people answered. It's Nothing Frank, beats a 3 a.m. undress fucking drunk. life call right there, bro. Hell oh yeah. my god, dude. That's the funny that experience. I remember when we were drunk for uh, Roger's birthday, I, I texted my dad, I texted my stepdad, Richie, and he's like, I, I texted him, hey, I love you, man. And he's like, yeah, he texted me the next morning that. and he's like, are you drunk? And I'm I like, yeah. See I, can play. <laughs> I just want to play the very beginning. Play, play the whole thing, play the whole thing. I don't want to play the whole thing. That's How long, long is it? <laughs> it was pretty long. It was pretty long, yeah. It was pretty, it's pretty close to the mic. Can you guys hear it? Hi, Oh, thank you. I just want you to know that Rob is my favorite. And I fucking love that kid. I fucking love Rob. I'm very drunk, by the way. And then if 
No, I was good at Andrew because I mean Andrew have been best friends for forever. <laughs> but if I was like homosexual, I would get you. I'm not. I fucking love pussy motherfucker. Pussy nasty. Nasty. No, but I I love vagina. Vagina's great. Anyways, but I love love uh, Alright, that's that's the thing. I love Robert. Yeah, the briefest all that shit was I love pussy. I love <laughs> Do not get it twisted. But if I was though <laughs> Dude, this was July thirtieth, twenty seventeen. One fifty five wow, eight. What a fucking year. <laughs> yeah, that was a good year. I like twenty seventeen. Those are good years. Music twenty sixteen was good. A good year. Well, I good think match. we can leave it at that, boys. What do you guys think? Yeah, we can oh, end it with yeah, Andres' okay, drunk call. With a, with an Andres', Andres', Andres is fucking. Message. My drunk call. Close out the pod. Close out the pod. Close out the pod. This drunk call. This is a yeah, last no, episode. Well, not the last day. episode. This is the first episode of 2021. This is the ending. We are now reaching the end point. We hope you enjoyed. I am Roger. We got Gene on the mic today. Had Andres here Gene. giving us all the good I'm, memes. I'm Robert. Robert with his bears and his blanket. Robert, I love you. you Andrew know. in the beige. <laughs> Hello. Andrew and with beige. that, that's episode 12 of the 3 a.m. boys, and we appreciate you for listening. And we will Thank continue you. to have stuff for you to put in your eardrums. Yes. Thank Goodbye you. Bye now. And have a nice day, evening, or Happy night. New Year. Happy 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 New Year. I hope 21 won. 2021 is good. It's such a weird year to say. 2021. 2021. 2021. 2021. 2021. 2021. 2021. When we get to hey, episode goodbye, 21. Everybody. Peace out. <laughs> Peace out, everybody. Bye. Smile away, boy. It's going to be like the end of the fucking old sitcom. Yeah. And now we See just fade out time. into the black. All right, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm